Hi, welcome back to season two of The Shadow Chef. I'm Matt Jordan, and if you're coming in hot, and this is your first time watching one of my videos, g'day, welcome. Firstly, I've got to apologize. Um, it's been a long time between drinks. Uh, obviously, there's been a lot happening. You know, most of you will have seen that I was a contestant uh, for a hot minute on season 11 of MasterChef, and unfortunately, no apron for Matt, but I did have an incredible experience. But more importantly, this season of The Shadow Chef is a lot more personal. Obviously having that fabulous experience on MasterChef, I feel a lot more connected to the contestants this year. So, you know, they're not like they are my TV friends, um, where you kind of form that weird relationship with people who are in long form reality TV shows. These are actually people that I've met um, and I genuinely do care for them. Today, we're gonna to be cooking Mandy Hall's Shish Barak, which was the dish that she chose to cook if she was stranded on a desert island. If you're following me on Instagram, then you already know that I left the decision on what dish to cook for episode one up to you guys. Based on the way that the votes were coming in hot for Mandy, I actually went out and bought all the ingredients to make shish barak, but in a last second surge, Tim's dish was the winning dish. So I'm gonna be cooking both dishes. I don't cook a lot of Middle Eastern, so I'm really excited to, to try this dish. I had such a lovely time with Mandy and her family on set. Mandy came up to me before we went into the second chance cook and handed me a little vial of sandalwood. Now, if you haven't used sandalwood before, sandalwood is great for calming your like nerves and anxiety. Mandy said, just dab a little bit of it on your wrists and on the soles of your feet and that will help calm you down. Um, I was like, fuck, I am so nervous. I was like, can I just drink this? And it did, it sort of calmed my nerves a little bit, but as soon as you walk into that kitchen, like you just, go to shit, such a surreal experience. It's kind of like, I'm like, I'm now in the television. The act of kindness speaks volumes about who, who Mandy is as a person and who she would have been as a competitor. These aren't the kind of people that you'd find on cooking shows like My Kitchen Rules. I was really touched by that generosity of spirit. Um, you know, I, I essentially was Mandy's competitor. That's the kind of interaction that's really difficult to forget. So Mandy, if you're watching, thank you so much. I am so excited to cook your dish, Mandy. It sounds delicious. And now that it's winter, shish barak, yum. I can't wait to get this in my belly. Don't forget to watch the entire video because at the end, we'll have a wrap up and I will give you my thoughts on Mandy's shish barak. All right, let's get started. Take the wheel. Okay, uh, 
I forgot what a laborious um, task it is to create these videos and wow okay a little bit out of practice so there we have it there we finished Mandy's shish barak um, well, I've got all the elements on the plate, uh, uh, apart from the pistachios. Um, when I cracked open the nuts, they were a little mm, wrinkly. So I managed to find a few that were semi-hard um, and kind of crushed them up and chucked them in. This smells divine. Um, I just I'm so hungry I like I just need to, to jump in as you can see I'm really enjoying this is delicious the red butter sauce is so velvety and and smooth and smoky and, and I love it and the yogurt so fresh and um, you know it's a beautiful counterbalance to the richness of the red butter sauce. I wish Mandy was here to taste this. I think I overcooked my dumplings. I mean, I only cooked them for, for three minutes, but I left them in the pot to try and keep them warm so that I could plate everything up, you know, properly. Congratulations, Mandy. This is amazing. You get zero po heads. Um, and I'm gonna give this, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rate any of these dishes this year. Um, I think the best thing to do is for you guys to cook it. And if you do, don't forget to tag Mandy on Instagram. You can find her details here. Um, and tag me too if you've made it after watching this video. I'm gonna just dive back into this because it is so delicious. That's the PG version. Um, thank you for cooking this, Mandy. Thank you for being an absolute gorgeous, gorgeous angel. Thank you for giving me sandalwood. Just thank you and I wish you all the best and all the success wherever Master Chef may take you. All right, I'm Matt Jordan, and this is episode one of The Shadow Chef. Don't forget, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and come over and say hi on Instagram or drop me a comment down below and uh, let me know what you think of this dish or, you know, let me know if you think this video is a piece of shit. All right, peace out. Who doesn't love having shish barat for breakfast? I fucking love it.